Hi, this is Freda. I would like to show you how to darn knitted socks or any kind of socks or any fabric that has been knitted. I sell most of my handmade uh, items on Etsy and uh, at my local uh, market, Saturday market in Penticton, BC, Canada. So I had this lady, she bought a couple of socks from me and then she said, oh, can you, do you know how to darn socks? I said, yes, I do. So she said, I'll bring them. And if you can do it for me, I would really appreciate it. She only wears handmade socks, knitted socks. So on this uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you how to darn by crocheting the unworn parts like this is a huge hole. This was the same on this one that I have uh, made. I do double sides and I am going to show you how to do that double sides. First I start from the inside and when I'm done I do from the outside. And this way you have two, total of two. And this will last forever. Okay, let's get started. First you need to turn your socks outside. So just turn it, flip it. Okay, this is the inside of the sock as you can see. She warned this a lot so you can see the mess here. Never mind the mess, we're going to fix the socks. So what you need is, you need to put your hand like this. I don't use any eggs or amp uh, any rolling things. I just use my common sense how to crochet. So we're going to go around and around to fix this hole. I don't weave. I crochet. I am using green and beige colors. You can use any colors as you desire. Uh, this is the ones that I had closest to this yellow to fix the problem areas. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start crocheting as I normally would crochet and I'm going to crochet. Uh, this yarn is uh, just a regular worsted yarn. It's acrylic because the socks is acrylic. I, I don't have any yarn from the sock so I can't use the same sock yarn. And uh, the needle that I'm using is 3.5 uh, And I'm just going to start uh, crocheting. So I'm going to put my finger, this is the hole, I'm going to go around and around. I try to pick up stitches as deep as I can, and not from the, just the edge because it's, it's all worn out, right? So I'm just going to pick stitches like this, put my needle in. You can leave the end here because it's going to be between the two uh, two weaving, two crocheted, double crochet. We're going to double crochet from here and from the other side. So just crochet as you would re regular crochet a single stitch.
just crocheting the edges. This is very close to the edge, so I'm going to unravel that and, and go deeper. Let me have it a close look. I'm not cutting anything. See, even when I went deep enough, it's not. Okay, can you see how big that hole is? We don't want that. We want to pick the strongest knitted parts that are still there. Here, let's go. Let's go here. Just deep in. Dug in. <laughs> no chain, nothing. Just single crochet. Pick the strongest stitches that you can see. Continue rolling. We're going. We're going around. I learned how to do this from my grandmother. She always wore hand knitted socks. I find uh, to knit socks is hard because you're using small needles and you're going around and around and around. It takes forever to finish the entire pair of socks. I always say I'm not going to knit socks but I end up knitting. They're very comfortable to wear though. Okay so we continue going around and around. Yeah, this one we need to remove. It doesn't Let's see how big the fleece is. I always remove my fleece when I wear my socks, but I guess this customer didn't know how to do that. <laughs> okay. It always happens when you're wearing any any items, especially socks, mittens, it happens. It's from the fiber. Okay, so here this is a big gap there. So we're just going to jump here to find a perfect s stitch. And just single stitch. We're just grabbing the strongest stitches that we can see so we can hold tight. And when I do the other, the right side of the darning, crocheting like this, it gets stronger. Oopsie. Okay. Okay, there's another big hole going down. I hope this tutorial will help you how to weave, how to darn your socks. I'm not weaving, I'm crocheting. Um, I don't like sewing, I don't like using needles. <laughs> I even crochet the edges of my sleeves when I'm finishing a sweater or a guard cardigan. I hate sewing. I know how to sew, but for knitters, crocheters, I always like this. Okay, um, I forgot to tell you. Okay, when I came, I'm just going to show you how to do that again. Okay, when I'm finished, I just jumped to the first. Well, I skipped the first, actually. That's how we make us increase it. 
So what, from here I didn't poke my crochet hook here. I jumped here. Just single crochet. We're going to do, it's up to you, it's your own uh, judgment, but what I do is I uh, crochet three single crochets and I skip one. I jump to the other one and I continue like that. So we have to have this hole smaller. That's the only way we can do it. So one, two, three, skip it. It doesn't have to be three. It can be two or it can be four. The smaller we get, we're going to change that three. So I'm going to skip this one because it's very close by. There's no use of... So I just did one and I skipped another one. So one... Just use your own judgment how the stitches can see. So I'm not even counting. Just follow the stitches and if it's like if there's a gap I would crochet that and if it's small I would skip that one. Skip that one. And as you can see it's getting smaller and tighter the circle around. One, two, three, and I'm just gonna jump from here to here. Okay, I think we're doing the third round now. Yeah, as you can see, this is how the heel's gonna look like. Two, three, then skip the tight one, go to the biggest one, three, I'm putting my finger just to between Here we go. I'm gonna do this one, this hole, and then skip, skip here. Okay. Smaller the the hole is getting smaller and smaller. <laughs> okay. This is how I do my darning. If you have any comments, any suggestions, please do not hesitate to leave them below. And um, we're almost there. The hole is getting smaller and smaller. Okay, it's almost done. Going to start skipping more because the hole is getting smaller. Instead of doing three crochet, single crochet, I'm just gonna do two. Like I said, just use your judgment. Around and around, here we go. You can hear my pet walking around so much. When it's so silent, you can hear any everything uh, when you're taping something. My battery just died on me. <laughs> Thank God I had my extra. Okay, so we're just going to skip here. So we're skipping one. Yeah, 
and we're done. So just poke your needle here somewhere. And we're done. Okay, so we're just going to cut, uh, cut the needle. Uh, can't find my scissors, 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 scissors. I don't feel like talking today. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't want to cut. Okay, here we go. Now we're just gonna put everything back to normal. As you can see, you can leave it this way as well. It is we it is crocheted on this side as well, but I want to do another layer here, starting from deeper. Just wanted to pull that crocheted edge, the thread from here. If I can find it. Here we are. Just pull it. I'm just going to weave it. Just weave as you would your regular work that you do. It's going to be hidden here inside anyways. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to be need a hole on my ottoman. Oh well, it's not going to last forever, is it? Okay, so I'm just going to grab the other thread, the other yarn. Getting detangled here. Just fix this part. Okay, so just grab the strongest stitch that you can find. This is how I do it. You can do it differently if you want. It's your preference, it's your judge your own judgment. Continue continue picking up stitches like this. And I will meet you at the other side. So just grab the strongest stitch you can all the way around and I'll meet you back here. Okay, so I went around and I picked up the stitches, and this is how it would look like. So we're going to skip, I'm doing the second row, we're going to skip the first and jump to the other single crochet. And continue on, crochet, single crochet three stitches. It is so how to cr it is so hard to crochet when you're ta get taping yourself. Oh, I would never ever imagined how to do it, but when you're trying to do a tutorial, it is so hard. My hand keeps on moving around. Okay, I'll meet you back at the third row. Okay, now I'm doing the third row. Just continue skipping. You can skip. You can single crochet two and then skip the th the third single crochet and continue continue doing it round and around and I'll meet you at the top at where how to close the how to cut how to finish. Okay, so I went round and around as I we did the green yarn at the other side. Just continue as you as you. Close up so uh, the hole is gone as you can see. So I'm just gonna do a single chain, just a chain, just chain one. And uh, I can't find my other scissors, they're somewhere here. There we go. 
and just pull this and then tuck that below below underneath or between between the two I would just weave it between the two fabric now that we have Just weave it between. So stubborn, doesn't want to go in. Come on, here we go. So stubborn, <laughs> doesn't want to go in. Here we go. So this is how I darn my knitted socks. Like I said, you can do it for anything. 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 Give it a little. So these days will last forever. Here we go. This is how I darn my socks. Handmade socks. I hope this tutorial helped you how to darn your socks by crocheting them around and around. If you have any comments, any, any suggestions, please leave them below. Please do not forget to subscribe. I do have giveaways for my 1,000 subscribers. I'm going to be giving